Hey there, Spinners and Sharks. It's Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And we're finally going to answer that age-old question. Is it Delano or Delano? It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So it's occurred to me that I have something of a penchant for the hotels within hotels. Vidara, Signature at MGM Grand, and of course today, the Delano Las Vegas. Mostly because these tend to be more affordable than their parent properties, more luxurious, and frankly, offer even more amenities. Despite this, these properties are often overlooked, usually because of confusion on which amenities can be accessed from the main property, the lack of on-site gambling, and additional distance to the strip even through the main hotel. So I thought I'd get a room at the hotel within a hotel at the property farthest south on the strip to test this theory. It worked, it worked, it worked, I can't believe it worked. I checked into Mandalay Bay, initially planning a stay there through my My Vegas comps. I have no idea, but while I was in line, I thought I'd ask for a suite, and the check-in agent offered the Delano. Normally, it would have been another $50 a night on top of the regular weekend rate of $136 that weekend, putting my savings at $186 a night for a free two-night stay. Not a bad way to start off the trip, if you ask me. Alright, and here we are. I instantly fell for the room. It was bright, had a good view of the pool, and most importantly, had a TV in every room. The separate soaking tub and walk-in steam shower added extra points, and having two bathrooms meant that this is probably the nicest room I've ever reviewed on Ace of Vegas. Well, so far anyway. The property itself is pretty small. There aren't many restaurants and there's only one store, so that's a bit of a drag in case you need something. Luckily, the tower is physically attached to the Mandalay Bay's casino floor through the Michael Jackson One showroom, so you have access to all the dining and shopping options that Mandalay Bay offers within a five minute walk from your room. And given the distance of a regular Mandalay Bay hotel room to other amenities on the property, this isn't such a big deal, I think. Nope, just another lounge pool. Also pretty quiet, a lot of cabanas over here. The Delano pool is of course pretty basic, and on its own it wouldn't be anything to write home about. What makes it special is the fact that it's smack dab in the middle of the Mandalay Beach pool complex, so you have other pool options to enjoy. Special focus goes to the wave pool, and of course we always have to shout out the Lazy River. There's a spa and fitness center on site too, but those amenities were closed during my visit. Not sure how much of it was staffing issues and how much of it was a social distancing thing, but there weren't many options for the famous Delano Spa. Luckily, being a Delano guest, we had the option of going to the Mandalay Spa if we wanted to. So here are the things that I absolutely love about Delano and Mandalay Bay. Number one, the rooms are huge. I stayed in a basic one king bed suite, and it was 50% larger than the room Wonder Woman and I had for our anniversary some five years ago now. And while they weren't fully supplied like they normally would be, it was still very clean and very comfortable. Special mention to the bathroom for being just my speed. Number two, Mandalay Beach is easily my favorite pool in Las Vegas, and it should certainly be in the top five of the best pools in Las Vegas in general, if I ever get around to finishing that list. The huge selection of pool areas to hang out in makes even the hottest summer day more bearable. Number three, transportation is surprisingly pretty easy. You have the option of leaving from Mandalay Bay or leaving directly from Delano. And there's a rideshare option in the Delano parking garage too. So you don't always have to make the long trek at the end of the night unless you're walking. So that's a great feature. Number four, it's a non-smoking and non-gambling property. So it's much quieter after dark. The walls tend to be thicker too, so you don't tend to hear your neighbor's TV, if you know what I mean. Number five, customer service was pretty on point the whole time. I even lost my phone at the restaurant, and the waitstaff immediately rescued it. 
It's a rarity in Vegas, and certainly just my luck, but I'll take the victory any day. And finally, number 6, you get a roughly equivalent suite to what you would get at Mandalay Bay, but it's often much cheaper, so that's a victory too. And now for the bad news. Number 1, the property is small, so there isn't much to do at the Delano Tower and that's only when the restaurant options are open. They were somewhat limited during our last trip, so there wasn't much to eat. I had to wander all the way over to Mandalay Bay just to find breakfast. And of course, number two, the location is just awful. I can see this being a great spot to be if you're walking back from the Raider game, while the rest of those suckers are trying to find an Uber back to the M Resort or are trudging up the strip to the Cosmo. But otherwise, you're pretty far from the action, and if you're coming back on foot, Del Leno is all but inaccessible from the street and requires you to walk through Mandalay Bay. But that's pretty much it. If you aren't bothered by the location and the walk, then there's nothing wrong with Del Leno. You get a great property for a great price. It's Mandalay Bay Plus. If you like Mandalay Bay already, you'll love Del Leno. If you don't like Mandalay Bay, you'll probably still enjoy Del Leno, and you just probably wouldn't book there again. After this trip, I'm honestly considering making Mandalay Bay and Delano my main property going forward. Now that Mirage is on its way out of the M-Life catalog of properties, that is. I'll think on that another time. But for now, I think I'd actually bestow Delano at the Mandalay Bay a well-earned 5 out of 5. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons, including our newest member, Evan S., who's joining us at the Vegas Visitor Tier. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. In the meantime, though, how do you feel about Delano Las Vegas? Would you spend a summer trip there, or do you prefer a different hotel within a hotel like Nobu? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys.